are you getting your workout? Oh, uh, yep. Oh, yeah. This is, <laughs> this is why you can eat so many holiday cookies. Welcome back to my channel. It's 12 Days of Cookies, day eight. And today, I'm hanging out with my friend, Courtney Wilson. Hi, bro. <gasps> I'm so, so excited. So glad. She's an icon. No. One of the most talented people I've ever <laughs> met. She's She does it all. She made a macaroni dish to die for. I saw die Mike for. eyeing it because I knew he'd want a to-go <sighs> container. He took it home. Yeah, it was good. I think I have manifested this because I've been praying about it for years that no. I would, yeah, that I would get to bake with you. So this is a this is a very beautiful. This is my Christmas present. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's to bake with you, darling. Okay, well now this is also my dream. Yay! I love music and I love food. These yeah. are two things we were talking about oh. that just like bring people together, makes us happy. The best. And I feel like that's what we do. We bring the good vibes. Oh yeah, we have to. Oh yeah. It's just in us. It's part of our DNA. We have I to just bake, took a cook. DNA test and it turns out <laughs> that. <laughs> that we like to I'm part cookie. That okay, part right. Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be making some new and improved melted snowman cookies. Many years ago I made a recipe, but this one's better. Good. And we're going to be making a cream cheese sugar cookie recipe. This Ooh. recipe's from my second book, Baking All Year Round. I love that there's cream cheese. Oh, same. All right, are you ready to get started? Yay! Let's, Let's get started. started. First step, we're going to mix together our dry ingredients in a medium little bowl here. I've got some flour, we've got baking powder, boop, 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 and a little bit of salt. I'm going to mix Mix this together and then set it off to the side. And then, Carney, you are gonna cream together our butter and sugar and a mm. little bit of cream cheese. That's the great secret ingredient, right? Oh, that looks great. Mix in that sugar like Carney's doing. And we're gonna mix for about three minutes till it's light and fluffy. Sometimes I do it like a little bit at a time so it doesn't splatter in my face. That's so fresh of you. Thank you. Love it. I'm impressed. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Happy holidays. Happy butter days. <laughs> to you. <laughs> We could go off for like hours I in know. our own world. <laughs> now, let's add, we've got two eggs, boop boop, vanilla extract. I'll put all the measurements down below. If you wanna follow along at home, you can. Now, you're gonna take your dry ingredients and we're gonna add them to our butter mixture. And I'm gonna do like half at a time. You wanna add the flour yep. while I'm mixing? There we go. This is really getting thick here. Oh, that dough's looking nice. It smells so good, you guys. <sighs> Oh! What could be better? But it's the decorations that are so cute. Oh yeah, it's gonna taste good and, and look be good. Adorable. Dough is looking good. It's mm -hmm. divided in half, and we've got it on saran wrap. And what's next? We are gonna flatten it with our hands into disc shapes. Right. We do this for a couple reasons. It makes the dough a little bit easier to work with because this recipe, the dough is really soft. sticky. It's yeah. soft. It's sticky. So this will help it be a little bit easier to work with. Is it weird that I want to eat it right now? No, because so do I. <laughs> so do I. This part's fun. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll wrap it up tight. Perfect. And pop these in the fridge. Once they're chilled, ready to go. Roll it out. All right, we took the dough out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. What's next? Right, take a little bit of flour. I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of these. I have these silicone baking mats. If you don't have these at home, you can just use like a piece of parchment paper or wax Plastic. paper, whatever you got. Mm. And then, Carney, if you wanna open that up. Okay. Yeah, and then place it right here. Okay. And then we're gonna put the other mat on top and roll it out. And we're rolling it to like a, what, a quarter inch or something like that? Yeah, quarter inch. And then should we put a little flour on this one because it's gonna go yeah, on top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you getting your workout? Oh, uh, yep. Oh, yeah. This is <laughs> this is why you can eat so many holiday cookies. You you do the- you get your workout. You do the arm day, and then you get to enjoy yourself. So we gotta get this nice and flat, and then we can cut out some cookies. Let's see what this looks like. The moment like. of truth. Whoa. Ah, perfect. Nice job, bro. Very good. Do, do, do. We have our round cutter. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to get 12 cookies. So we've got our parchment paper here. Mm -hmm. These are going to be, oh, look how perfect. <gasps> perfect. Oh, wow. Look at this. Perfect. This is kind of the fun part. You know what I mean? I mean, it's all fun. Yeah. You are killing it. You're doing great here. Thank you. With the extra scraps, you can just re-roll it. This recipe makes about 30 cookies. It depends how big your cookie cutter is. But we've got 12 cookies on the tray. They're ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 12, 12 minutes. minutes. Perfect. Yeah. Easy. 
Yeah. And just a reminder, these are really thin cookies. Just keep your eye on them. Every oven's like a little bit different. Yep, just watch the oven. Yep. While our cookies are baking, we're gonna get a head start on our decorations. We're gonna make some Yay. snowman faces. Yay. Or their head, I guess, because they're melting. Snow head. <laughs> snow heads. A snow head. Like these little cuties over here. How cute are these? We kind of broke it down in steps. Yay. And all you're gonna need to are marshmallows and then these gummy orange slices, which are some of my favorite. Oh, I know. and then we've got sour strips. So I've got a red one. Carney's got a green yep, one. Yep, we thought we'd match our, our outfits. So out of the strip, we're gonna cut some smaller strips like right. these. And then if you'll take a marshmallow, it's not long enough. So what we're gonna do is cut the ends. When you cut it, it's really tacky and sticky. Right. So we're gonna stick those two ends together. And then I'm taking a little bit of icing right here that I have in a piping bag and I'm just putting it around the bottom edge. Once the icing's on there, you're just going to yeah. put the rope all the way around. There we go. And it's just got a cross in the front, Carney, like this. We just right. got to make that cute cross little over. cross. And you'll probably want to put a little bit of icing on the scarf that's under. Mine is a very long scarf. So we can cut the length right. of the scarf right. too. Because when you just do one strip, it's too short. But right. then when you put them together, it's too long. And then for the nose, we're going to take our orange slice. And what you can do is just cut it in half like this. Mine is coming apart. Uh-oh. You're uh -oh. so good at decorating, Here, Ro. do you need this? Oh, right. OK. You need a little dab. Oh, and then push it um, really hard. I have a psycho scarf. Look at this little end. All right, so you cut them in half so it's like this. And you can get little strips. And then you're going to cut off the ends mm -hmm. so they become really tacky. We're making the nose. Yeah, a little carrot nose. And then you just cut little triangles. That That's so easy. When they're still sticky, like tacky, you just put them right on. Last but not least, we're going to put two little eyes and little dots for a smile. This is the tiniest tip I've ever seen. It's the tiniest tip they Perfect make. It's a number one. Eyeballs. It is teeny, teeny, tiny. And we just are going for little dots. Yep. Oh my gosh, this is so small. Is it a smile like this? Or, yeah, it's, it's, no, that's so, actually great. You can sell, tell that the snowmen might be in different moods. Yeah, like why he, would they be so happy that he's they're hungry? Melting? Yeah, he's, he's like, he's mm. hungry. He's like, Feed me. So now you're just gonna keep making these and make as many as you have cookies. I'm gonna tip my hat to y'all and now we're gonna make some little cute snowman top hats. These are so cute. And to do this, all you need are little pieces of parchment paper. We cut these into little squares. Yep. And then Carney, you've got, these are just black candy melts mm -hmm. or you can use dark chocolate. And we've gotten a little piping bag. We heated it up in the microwave. So this is time sensitive. Right. And then we've got the mini marshmallow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little dollop there okay. and then we're gonna put a little marshmallow right on top we're just gonna cover the marshmallow yep Ooh, like that oh well, that might be too much all right so that's why we've got this tap tap look at this it's like magic oh <gasps> They're hats! Yeah, and you can make them different sizes. Then you just let it sit at room temperature and it's gonna harden and set. We're just gonna make a bunch of them. Bunch of hats. This is yeehaw! gonna be this gonna Merry be the, Christmas! Yeah, the yeehaw snowman. The yeehaw snowman. <laughs> Cookies are baked, they're fresh out of the oven. We gave them some time to cool, and now we're gonna put all of our decorations together. together. Yeah, so Carney, grab a cookie, okay. and then we have some white royal icing in these little piping bags, and you're just gonna pipe a squiggly design so it looks like a melted snowman. This is where you can really have fun. Nothing needs to be perfect because this snowman has melted. It's basically a snowman in California. <laughs> it's hot out. He's going to melt very quickly. Then you fill it in. Okay. And then you can use a little toothpick to move the icing around. Or you can tap your cookie. Oh, yeah, you could tap it. Tap, 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 just like that. That will help smooth it over. While the icing is still wet and it's setting, this is where you're going to stick on your cute little snowman marshmallow head. And it sticks right away, yeah. see? And then we're going to take these little M&Ms. For his buttons? Yeah, for the buttons. But I literally cannot do it with my nails. That's the funniest thing. If you've got long nails, you may need help here. OK, the, my favorite part is going to be the hats. The hat. Let's put the, the hat hats. on. OK, we'll put a little bit boop on top and place one of these 
cute little hat. Oh no, my gosh, the so hat cute. makes The hat makes it. And then once you let it set for about 10 minutes, then you're gonna take your black royal icing, again with a number one tip for a little bit more control, and we're gonna pipe little arms. Right. This part's totally optional, so if you just wanna stop here decorating, you can. It's arts and crafts. Put on Edible. your Christmas music. Oh yeah. Right? Put your favorite Christmas album on. My sister and I made a song called Hey Santa that has been so popular all these years. Is that your favorite song? I mean, it's one of my favorite Christmas songs, yeah. I love um, I'll Be Home for Christmas. You oh. know, my, my daddy's in the Beach Boys, Brian. So the Beach Boys, um, Little Saint Nick. I couldn't imagine the holidays in your family with all the music oh. and the musicians. Oh, and like, it's great. Oh my gosh. My favorite holiday always. And I just have so many great memories. Growing up in Seattle, it would snow during the holidays and we would make snowmen. I didn't understand why we called them snowmen. So I said, mom, we're gonna make snow women. I love that. We're making snow women and my mom was like, huh, I never even thought of that. So I put dresses on them. Oh, I like that. These are so cute. They're you precious. Guys. And there you have it. Cute little adorable melted snowman. Oh, good. Then we're just gonna keep doing this to the rest of our cookies. Perfect. And ta-da! Ta Here are Yay. the melted snowman cookies that we made they're today. Just, they're adorable. so cute. You guys, and this recipe is a cream cheese sugar cookie mm. recipe, so it's just gonna be a little softer than your regular sugar cookie. Nothing wrong with that. We put this one over here because Carney's- It deserved a, its own little pedestal because it's- These little hands. It looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. See, even if they're not perfect, they're still precious. They're adorable. A big thank you uh, to Carney Wilson for Thanks coming for over me. and baking with you. me today. Thank I love you. you. Thank you. So fun. It so It was so much easier than I thought. You're that's, really that's, talented. Yeah, just, Are you ready to try one? Yes. Okay. Let's do, oh, I'll get a red one. And you got a green one. And then you guys, Merry happy, Christmas. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and happy 12 days of cookies. Why do we start dancing the minute we eat? It makes us happy. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. It's free and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. That's and fun. there's the a video here. up here. Check it out if you'd like to watch any other videos. Or over there. Over the here. Carney side. Over here. Or and my there. side. Or that side. Or like here. my snowman's eyeballs. One went that way, one went that way. Yeah. <laughs>